From Iron Man getting his Easter egg cut to one of the oldest items vanishing, these are 25 things secretly removed in Fortnite Season 4. When Epic deletes something from the game, they never talk about it, sometimes from embarrassment like the removal of wasps. Yeah, with Season 4, the jungle is still here, but the annoying insects that filled it are gone. You were supposed to collect them in jars and use it as a weapon, but the damage was insanely low, so nobody used this, just like the Nitro Drifter. This came in with Mega City and was meant to be some kind of upgrade from the sedan, but let's be honest, everyone chose bikes instead. Although now, Fortnite has given us the Nitro Fang, replacing the Drifter entirely, and not gonna lie, it is totally worth using. Now, a feature that overstayed its welcome is finally gone. You might have gone to your favorite drops like Mega City, Brutal Bastion, or Shattered Slabs, and realized something's missing. And that would be the most annoying boss in Chapter 4, High Card. If you wanted to get in these vaults, this was the guy with the key card, and Fortnite rinsed him for months. Every new season, we'd expect at least a different boss, or Mythic, only for Icar to show up and disappoint everyone. They even got our hopes up for the most wanted event just for them to reuse him again. Thankfully, he is nowhere to be found in Season 4, but it leaves you wondering what happened to his vaults. Well, he must have taken the loot with him because they have all been ransacked. We have also learned that Fortnite removed one of its named POIs probably one of the least popular areas, and that's why Lonely Labs is missing from Season 4. Epic replaces with a way better POI Sanguine Sweets. And it's kind of funny when you realize Lonely Labyrinth was only recently added, so they put all that work in for nothing. I'm sure a lot of players will miss Lonely Labs, but no one is upset about the removal of grenades. Of course, it's one of the oldest items in Battle Royale, so we've had plenty of time to use these over the years. Thanks to this, Epic tried to spice things up last season and completely nerfed them. Fans weren't happy, and the grenades were so terrible that barely anyone picked him up. Let's just say Fortnite learned a lesson, and that's why the item has been quietly deleted. Let me ask you a question. If you had to guess which of these items were in Fortnite last week, what would you choose? If you picked the Thermal Flopper, you'd be right. They were in Season 3, and pretty much no one used it. Clearly Epic added these to fight the Cloak Gauntlets, but when you have a Thermal BMR instead, the choice is obvious. Because of this, nobody has realized the Thermal Flopper just got deleted from the fishing pool. It makes sense, but one thing is confusing everyone in Season 4. If you had to jungle POIs like Rumble Ruins or Shady Stilts, the vaults will just let you in. Usually you'd have to do an elaborate puzzle to open it, whether it was sacrificing loot or choosing the right statue. But the heist theme has nothing to do with the jungle, so they could have just left it untouched, but they decided to delete all the puzzles anyway. Maybe you weren't a fan of them, but Epic has also removed the statues from the temples, so you can't even use it to rift away anymore. And they really embarrassed themselves with the Dragon's Breath items. Let me explain. In the final update of Season 3, we got a new perk, Fire Armor. This gave you the shotgun and sniper instantly, which sounded great, until an hour later when the perk was removed in a hotfix. It must have been added by accident, because Fortnite didn't say anything about it. And then out of nowhere, last week they dropped yet another hotfix, bringing Fire Army back into the game. Well, I hope you enjoyed using it, because once again, it is gone with Season 4. Now, if you're one of the players who love the snow biome, you might remember a frog at Lonely Labs. Feels super random, but Fortnite always throws in a cute little easter egg. But if you tried to go here now, the whole POI is up course, gone. Don't worry though, they've actually saved the frog and you can find a stone version at Relentless Retreat. You also could have found a mammoth pistol if it was still there. Yeah, no one expected this to vanish in Season 4. Fortnite only added it last month and it was insanely fun. When you get people across between the hand cannon and a flint knock, they're gonna love it until they nerf this thing near the end of the season. The response was pretty mixed, but clearly Fortnite didn't want to touch it anymore, so they got rid of it instead. It reminds me of the explosive repeater. This was also pretty loved by fans of being over powered at the same time, and it got the exact same fate. You probably didn't notice that a super unique POI has been deleted. Over at Slappy Shores, nothing has really changed for Season 4, except for one single building where a pizza pit now stands. You'd think they'd add this in an empty plot of real estate, but they completely replaced an amazing building. A week ago, this was the home of Octo Incorporated, a tattoo shop full of unique designs. We had some great memories at this place, like when you could launch the octopus head with a shockwave hammer, so hopefully it makes a comeback in Chapter 5. We were all taken by surprise at the start of the season when we logged in and Jujutsu Kaisen was still in game. When collabs happen, you don't expect them to stick around, so everyone thought the crossover would be gone by now. That's only to be proven wrong by vending machines selling the mythics. Or so we thought, because buying them didn't work, and an hour later, Epic realized their mistake and deleted the vending machines entirely. At this point, we need a happier ending, so let's seek out the Coral Buddies. Except, when you go to the Ryland, it's not there. I mean, pretty understandable, there is a massive hotel here now, but what happened to the Coral 
nobodies. No Kato Thorn is a vampire, but even he can't be evil enough to get rid of them. We left them with Triggerfish last season to give them a new sanctuary, but they have now both vanished. Even their conch is gone. Someone is missing from the island, and they are way more important than some coral buddies. Dr. Slow made a surprise appearance last season when her abandoned tank was found in the jungle. She eventually released with a new skin and NPC, leading us through the entire quest line with dialogue and missions. Well, it's only for her to be completely absent in season four. I mean, sure, tank is there, but no Sloan. I will say she's definitely got up here later on, though. And that's just like the unreleased outfit that was never supposed to be found. Gabby LeMay's loading screen looks pretty normal on the surface, until you see an alternate version with an extra character. This was clearly not meant to be out there, because this guy has never been seen in Fortnite. Whether it's scrapped or simply unreleased, we'll have to wait and find out. It is crazy to think about, but we did get something Marvel-related. It just wasn't meant to be there. For some reason, a desk appeared on the map with a Stark Industries folder left on top. Of course, the theories went wild. Thinking this was a teaser or build-up to our next MCU outfit, it even survived a whole update, giving the theory more believers. Until this week, yeah, if you go here now, Stark Industries and everyone's hopes and dreams are gone. Not to mention a fan favorite POI has also mysteriously vanished. When Relentless Retreat came out, it dropped in the ocean, so you wouldn't expect anywhere to be replaced, but compare it with the previous map, and it actually took a big chunk out of the island. Thanks to this, the popular landing spot called Meadow Mansion got caught on the crossfire. Ouch. If you didn't notice it was gone, then you probably didn't land here enough. But there is an item that most people are happy to see vanish. By now, we should know that every new Fortnite item is cursed. With the days, they're either way too fun to get nerfed or way too broken to get vaulted. It's just how things work around here, and the most recent example is the Kinetic Boomerang. This was a complete disaster, going in and out of the loop pool until Epic finally brought it back for good near the end of the season. Because of these problems, players expected it to maybe stick around, but we should have guessed it was doomed from the very start. And goodbye, Boomerang, you'll be sorely missed by a few people. And then you compare it to an amazing item like the Grapple Glove. It's a successor to the infamous Spidey Mythic, so of course these were some big shoes to fill. Sometimes it's done that, but after constant nerves and bumps, the fan base does have mixed opinions. Regardless, the glove comes and goes every season, and it fits perfectly into the jungle bio. Swinging from tree to tree helped mobility so much, but you should have enjoyed that while you had the chance, because it naturally vanished from the loot pool. Very similar to Chapter 4's largest POI. Honestly, for a video about things secretly removed, I gotta admit, this is not a secret at all. You can tell immediately that the Citadel is missing because it was gigantic, but it has major consequences. This was the home of the Oathbound, the place where the Rift Gate had everyone speculating. A lot has happened here, and it felt like the center of Chapter 4's storyline, only for it to be replaced overnight with no explanation. Let's head back to the jungle biome, where one of the most useful items has been vaulted. Last season, everyone was excited to get their hands on the Cloak Gauntlet. It was a total reskin of the Predator Mythic, but they actually improved it a ton. For all the work they put into this thing, you would expect it to last longer than four weeks. I'm guessing they removed it because of the new vaults. If you could just turn it visible and walk past all the henchmen, it'd be pretty overpowered. Now, Fortnite's island isn't just made up of huge name POIs. There's plenty of underrated places you'll come across while exploring. Kinda like Fishy Flow, this is just a simple iceberg with inflation inflatable palm trees in a shack. There's also rowdy acres, a humble spot to land with a barn and a house, and the same goes for Watery Watch. That was all the way at the bottom of the map. What do all of these have in common? Well, you probably guessed it by now, Fortnite secretly deleted them from the map. And now it'll be even harder to get to the new locations with motorboats gone. We only just got them back in season three, and now they're headed back into the vault once again. So, if you're traveling by water, it looks like swimming is your best option. And even though they added a ton of vaults to the island, nothing is more important than the vault. And Plenty of weapons have joined it this season. Say goodbye to the Cybertron Cannon. Despite being a collab item, most of us will probably forget this existed a year from now. Then guns like the MK Alpha, Drum Shotgun, and Lever Action have all been secretly vaulted. Surprisingly, the Flapjack Rifle has also been removed, despite it being relatively new. 